Hey guys, welcome to another M10 video. Today we have an O3 Volkswagen Golf in with an ABS light on the dash. So we're gonna plug in, see what's wrong. Okay, so if we start the car. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but we also do have a lot of noise coming from the exhaust, so I think the exhaust mode as well. But these are our warning lights on the dash. Right by there. So to plug in the scan tool on this car, there's a little plastic panel here, so you can prise that back and do the little clips. And the OBD port is in there. Okay, so diagnosis, control unit. Okay, so an active cord for the right front ABS wheel speed sensor electrical malfunction. Possible causes, open circuit. Yeah. Okay, so before we actually condemn the ABS sensor, we need to make sure what the actual problem is with it. All we know is that there is a malfunction on the driver's front ABS sensor, but we don't know what that is yet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go for a drive and using live data, we can see what each sensor is reading. So if the, all the other wheels are reading, say 15 miles an hour, what's the driver's front one reading? Is it? reading nothing, indicating that it could be an open circuit, could be that the sensor itself is down or that the wiring to it is faulty, or is it just reading slightly less and it's just confusing the system? So we'll take it out for road test. Okay, so go. from the main menu, go into live data. Uh, you can go in through read data by channel. Yeah, it's already pre-selected number one, so okay. And yeah, it's showing us the front left, front right, rear left and rear right. At the minute, they're all showing zero, which is correct because I'm stationary in the garage. So let's take it out for a spin. So we've been out on a road test. You'll notice that I wasn't going that fast, but obviously when you're driving a car with an ABS fault, you want to be very aware that the car that you're driving has an ABS fault. So you want to be very, very careful. But that being said, even though I wasn't going that fast, you could see that the, all the other sensors went up together. And it was only when I was turning that the speed kind of varied slightly, but nothing was showing up on the driver's front indicating that there is indeed an open circuit. Okay, so the next step is to put the car up in the air actually have a look at the sensor and test for voltage at the sensor. If we've got voltage going to it, then it, in all likelihood that it's the sensor itself. And then I'll show you how to test the sensor. Remember earlier when I said the exhaust sounded like it was blowing, so I'd have to uh, have a quick little look at it. Yeah, a yeah, lack of a back box will cause that noise. Okay, so back on track. Behind the driver's front wheel is the ABS sensor right there. I know uh, there's a few things bad condition like this track around on this car, so I'll have to go through it and give the customer a report. But in any case, we're dealing with the ABS system right now. So whilst we're here, we can see actually the target ring there, which the ABS sensor picks its signal from. So whilst we can see it, it's a good idea to give it a rotate so you can see the conditions, make sure that there's no damaged or heavily corroded targets on there. And it seems okay. Okay, so with that back covering off, we're able to back probe the ABS sensor. And what we're seeing is two volts, which is the correct voltage going to it, but 
as the ignition is on and it's still plugged in, we shouldn't really be seeing any sort of voltage on our voltage meter. So, and if we turn the wheel, there's no kind of, there's no variation in the voltage, which it would be if the um, ABS sensor was picking up the target ring as it should. So it looks like there's a problem with our ABS sensor. So we'll go ahead and remove it and test so with it. the wheel off. We get a much better view of the actual ABS sensor and how it sits next to the ABS ring. How it's literally just off it. There's a little uh, bit of debris and uh, crud in there. With a bit of fiddling and levering, as long as you don't damage the ABS sensor, it'll come. relatively okay sometimes they can be more awkward and you might have to remove the disc just to give you a little bit more access but we've been lucky today okay so with this old ABS sensor off you see in there the two prongs that we need to um, put our ohms meter onto to check the continuity and resistance so it's a bit life a little easier I've got this electrical connector that I've cut one side off that will just sit around the pin in there and it just makes it easier for me to get the the pins from my ohms meter onto the actual prong okay so the old abs sensor is showing me zero and that compared to the new abs sensor showing us one ohm which is right, we should have some resistance, but it's showing that we do have continuity and a complete circuit inside the sensor. That resistance then will change as the target ring passes the sensor whilst it's fitted. And that's what the ECU monitors and can work out vehicle uh, wheel speed. So before we go refitting the new ABS sensor, taking a little file and just using it to clean up the area where the ABS sensor sits because it might be a little bit of a tight fit because the old one didn't really want to come out nice and easily. We'll just keep doing this until it's clean and it's a nice fit. Okay, so once that's clean, insert the sensor. Make sure that lines up. I've hooked up the ohms meter to the new ABS sensor in situ. So now when I rotate the wheel, the resistance changes because now the target ring is passing the tip of the sensor. So we know the new ABS sensor is picking up the target wheel. So we'll put everything back together, uh, have a look at live data on the diagnostics and take her out for road testing. Okay, so our fault code has gone from an active to a passive, so we'll just go ahead and clear that. Okay, let's just start it back up again. Went to live data. Just come back from our test outside on the yard of the garage 
the um, readings from the ABS centre are as they should be now, so they're raising together, whereas before we didn't even have anything for the driver's front sensor. But um, not only now do we have a reading, that it's coming up together with everything else, so it's reading correctly. And the ABS side is out, the fault hasn't come back. I've tried it three times because sometimes it takes three times to log the fault. But uh, we have tested, the light hasn't come back, so that job is sorted. What we've got next is every other job on this car, so we'll see what I find. Okay, so that's my video on uh, ABS light diagnosing and uh, fixing on a O3 Volkswagen Golf. Um, there's many other things that can go wrong on the ABS system, so as I find different faults, I'll try to do more videos. So we'll see what we come up with. Also, if you guys have any questions about anything that's in this video, or if you have a fault of something else, I'll try to make a video on that. So just either um, put a comment on this video or any other videos and I'll see what I can do. Also guys, before I forget, please like and subscribe onto the channel. Uh, please hit the bell for notifications for when we do post new videos. We're gonna be trying to do a week, at least one video a week um, come the second week of January. So please look out for that. And yeah, turn on notifications so you see my videos as soon as they post. Cheers.